We start with a live look from our WVTM 13 studio camera looking over downtown Birmingham. We've got a cloudy sky, but we are dry in downtown Birmingham at this point. Uh, looking at the radar over the last hour or so, it's easy to tell that the widespread rain and thunderstorms are staying just south of our area. Across our part of the state, we've seen some spotty showers on and off. Did want to show you that we do have some rain falling in parts of Shelby County. Uh, between Alabaster and Calera, we've got some light rain. Between Columbiana and Sylacauga, some very light rain. Uh, near Clinton, it is raining. And then we've also got some rain over much of Coosa County and Clay County. But once again, the worst of the weather holding just to our south. We're watching thunderstorms training over some of the same locations right along the I-85 corridor. There's a flash flood warning for much of Wilcox County. Same story for much of Choctaw County. That's where the worst of the weather is likely to stay through the remainder of today along into the south of this line. That's where the better instability is, and that's where that moisture is focusing to lead to kind of a flooding threat as those storms just move over some of the same locations, and that's reflected in the latest flooding outlook from the Weather Prediction Center. This red area here is where flooding is most likely, so that's had a southward shift from this time yesterday. Notice our part of the state not included in the red there. For the rest of the day, in terms of a severe threat, more of the same story. This has shifted to the south, the southern third of the state, in a level two out of five slight risk, and we've been removed from that severe threat. We have a more stable air in place across our part of the state for today. However, tomorrow we do have an impact day because there could be a few strong storms, and that would mainly be during the afternoon and early evening hours where we could see a few storms uh, with some gusty winds, small hail, and also frequent lightning. Let's time it out. Moving the clock forward. This is right now, and that heavier rain is still to our south. Same story as we head towards 3 p.m. And you'll see some hit and miss rain from time to time, but there are going to be uh, quite a few locations that don't see much in the way of rain through the evening hours. That means if you have Friday night plans, it's not going to be a clear sky. We'll definitely have clouds around, but you will be able to find some dry time, which is some good news. Early tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. We're still mainly dry with a cloudy sky. We could see a few hit or miss thunderstorms early in the morning, but I believe the best coverage of rain and thunder is going to come by the afternoon. This is lunchtime. Watch what happens. Storms spread across central Alabama, moving from uh, the northwest to the southeast. These are some of those storms that could pack a punch with gusty winds, small hail, frequent lightning. If you are going to be out and about during the day tomorrow, just be sure you're keeping an eye on the radar and have a backup for those outdoor plans. So once again for today, we've got a few showers in the forecast, but the heaviest rain is likely to remain to our south. That's where that severe threat is going to be through the rest of the day as well. Tomorrow, some scattered thunderstorms, especially during the afternoon hours. Not an all day washout, though. Then on Sunday, we are looking drier and warmer with highs in the mid 80s and Monday. We're getting hotter. We've got temperatures back above average for this time of year in the mid to upper 80s, and then we'll keep a few thunderstorms in the forecast each day through the middle of next week.